Oh, tell me, I'm interested. We were back in Kumase, mm -hmm. and yeah, I told us how to again. Mm -hmm. um, we had, had a meal, family meal, everything. We had it recorded that day, mm -hmm. that day. So we had to head back to the studio. Mm -hmm. I called my producer, mm -hmm. who's in tech, so I just called him. Mm -hmm. And he was playing a random beat, and I was texting a random girl. Okay. <laughs> And she asked me to introduce myself. I introduced myself. She was like, "Oh, do you drive?" I'm like, <laughs> yeah. She was like, "You drive?" Okay. And I was like, "Yeah, I do drive." But I wanted to know where she was going. I was like, "Oh, my favorite car is a Benz and all those stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm too relaxed." I'm too relaxed. Oh, so they're like, yeah. "It's a real, real yeah. life story." I'm like, "Relax." And I was like, "Oh, I drive a, my label's car and blah blah blah." And I <laughs> saw she was so not interested. So she's like, "Oh, cool. She told me point blank like she's going. Oh, cool. And yeah, cool. and we were all shocked in the studio. I was like, hey, bro, look at what this girl's saying. That's how the chorus came in. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. It's simple. What my producer was doing, big shout out to Swati Beat. He killed the beat. Wow. And wow. that's how it happened. So, um, that lady, do you want to go and show her now oh, that... Well, you know, she has a TikTok. She has done a TikTok, but I'm not sure if she knows the songs about her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if she knows the songs about her. She invited me to the song on TikTok, oh, but she doesn't know... What could you have done, everyone? I'm not gonna do that. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We have just about six minutes to go, and I want to share it with my viewers and my panel members as well. So I give you guys two, and I said two, two, two as well. <laughs> um, so, Mr. Anna, yes. question, contribution to uh, Malcolm Nuna, uh, his career, his story so far. Yes. I wish we had more time, though. <laughs> definitely, definitely, yes. I, I, love, I love listening to him talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, he speaks very well. So, uh, please, you can have the number, the phone number on the screen. We can do some two, three calls before we run away. Mm. Yeah, and like you mentioned, it's, it's, it's a vital skill that every artist needs, yeah. you know knowing how to communicate, even how to respond to interviews like mm -hmm. this. And I think he's got it. I, I watched his interview with, was it Miss G or something? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it was, it was so refreshing, mm -hmm. just, just mm -hmm. like that. You know? mm -hmm. So, um, I can only wish him the best. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he, is, he obviously is an intelligent guy. Mm -hmm. So, we're looking forward to more, um, um, more good tracks mm -hmm. for the future. And um, know that the territory you find yourselves in and yourself in, I mean, there, there are things that need to come with it. You know, but there are things that come with it by all means, you know, and you need to know them if you want to see yourself at the top and know how to tread the, 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 the terrain. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure that the sky can be your starting point. Wow, wow. thank you. Um, yeah. Let's see who is here. Um, good evening. Good evening, Tuga. Uh-huh. Oh, how are you? I'm doing very fine. What's your name? Where are you calling us from? Bakoya Femet here. Mr. Sibanganai. Okay. If you are um more coming now, I said meaning send your meeting our friend. And you must follow that and also, I have no idea. Maybe you have a and Maybe I'm a room to one of them who to me Hey, brave, you went to me for a man. Mr. 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 Yeah, 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 Question and come 
for him, no, I think the time is too small for us yeah. to go in. But uh, who said in the YouTube channel no, it looks new. Yeah. And I wanted to know why. Uh, one the YouTube channel is new. New and only one uh, like the basic song is there and the rest is more like a reaction like short videos there. Okay. I don't know if it's different from your labels uh, channel. Uh, <coughs> If you can see one or two things. Okay. Yeah, um, I just created a YouTube, YouTube channel, channel. Okay. for the Benzo. Okay. And most of um, the videos I'm going to be releasing are going to be on, on this, the Malcolm on Luna. YouTube yeah, because channel. I saw that people people were finding it hard to find, find Malcolm Luna. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I, I guess. just put it down there. So I urge everyone listening to please go subscribe to my oh, YouTube I, channel. I just did. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, so um, yeah. go on to YouTube, um, a new YouTube page created for Markham Nuna. Yeah. Uh, let's go subscribe and support his career. Hello, good evening. Yeah, hello, good evening. Yes, boss, your name, where are you calling us from? This is CTV Class Showbiz. Okay, boss, I'm going to talk to you about the Javinia brand here. And now we did the message, you know. We did not go on the same way, we may not know. And you got me, got me, me, I'm brand here. Jabi, me, I'm brand here. My team yes, one is that way again. Aha, I just okay. found around a just so. I really love my hometown so much. And then I have to be a comedy one. Okay. Ah, we just found around a Bra Felix. So. Bra Felix. Okay. Yeah. Finally, you know, I am in the past. Eh, man, who are we screening this? So because only that's I mean, why is this video at the other? You can also form no now who go back from more. What you have here? Yeah. Ah, and you know, I am an independent. You see, no, me for you must be a Columbus. You be an army who will miss me. So, I mean, sir, I want to find it to me now. Now, anyway, I know the way. I know the back. I know the back. After I have found this, I can't wait. I can't wait to see you now. Nice. And I mean, I mean, sir, I mean, sir, I want to find. I want to continue to make sure. Hey. You see, we are best. I'm very soon best. Top notch. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that will be any more problem. But I have three more questions, but my mind is a bit where three minutes with the engineer. Um so far, would you want to go back to school after enjoying all the hits and the fame? Would you want to go back to school? I am still in school. Um, what, where now? Um UPSA. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm in my second year. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Um I mean, you said in the break, you knew that, like we were discussing earlier. Um, what was the agreement with you and them? Um, could you show them the down mm -hmm. a lot? And I really appreciate it because I feel that whenever he does it, um, my numbers go up, people. Yeah. And yes, he does put a link. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yeah. Of course, and he does very positively now. Okay. I appreciate a lot. Okay, so in this case, the copyright, you gave him the. The right to do it. You gave him the free role to use the song, or you were benefiting from the copyright. He said. Um, most of the time, he I like actually likes the song. Okay. Like he has to like like the song before. Okay. He does it. I don't really. So mm. he is like genuine love. Mm. So the mm. whole copyright. I'm not really even worried yeah, about that. <laughs> For someone to with such massive like numbers on YouTube to just pick up your song and just put it out there is. It's like it's big love, mm. you know, it's big yeah. love. But, mm. but do you do you manage your own channel? The channel do you manage it? My mm. YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, I have my own. Yeah. yeah. So you, you can. The go. one he just started, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I just started. Yeah, just but started. like, can you go behind the scenes to see whether you have copyright claims or not, like that kind of thing? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Mm. I'll do that. Mm. Mm. Very well. And the the final will be, um, I know you've not been very long in the music space, but what would you pride yourself? As your biggest achievement, even with your short stay in the music space, my biggest achievement. Yeah. Um, well, I would say that the tour, um, yeah, the, the high tour, school yeah, tour. the high school tour really meant a lot to me because I was in the whole Corona. The time I did my <laughs> album it was the whole Corona time, so I didn't have time to to um, move to um, interact with my fans. So <laughs> I didn't even know that I had. Like fans, like mm. real people. Mm. Mm. Real uh, people. All your fans were virtual. Yeah, yeah. virtual, like social media mm. and stuff. Mm. So mm. I got a chance and I could hear people singing my song. I was like, bro, this is the most fulfilled thing for me for like all these people from different places, parts of the world, like SHS, you have yeah. different parts of Ghana and you yeah. come there and yeah. they know your song, they're all singing mm. your song. It felt mm. like 
Mm, mm. I was very odd. Wow. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, one of my best evenings is with Malcolm Luna. Malcolm, let's have your final message to your fans and tell them to go on to YouTube once again to go subscribe to the page. Mm. I want to say a big thank you to all my fans, all the support. I see the love you guys are giving my new release, Benzo. And go to TikTok, make more videos for it. Check me out, Malcolm Luna, M A L C O L M N U N A, on all social media platforms. I am so interactive. Send your videos, I'm going to repost it. Thank you so much. Go check out the Benzo video on YouTube too. Just type in Malcolm Luna Benzo. Go check out the music video. Let me know your comments in the comment section too. I appreciate the love. Thank you, Luna FC. Nice like, good, one. Good. <laughs> okay, so let me read some uh, final messages. Um, Don Feggy. Uh, I see things happening with my, with my eyes slowly. It didn't happen like, oh, yo, when you get out, no, everyone will notice you. It just happened slowly. Like, right now, if I go to the watch, it's still like, right, she, she, she let me <laughs> pass by. <laughs> pass by. <laughs> <to> someone, uh, <laughs> Yeah, some months ago it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. So very gradual process, slow process. But yeah, I'm very patient then. Mm -hmm. I know God. Did, did they come with some pressure, knowing that oh, those days you could just pass freely, nobody points a finger at you, but now you pass it where it's a more common. Did they come with some pressure? Yeah, it, it does come with the, some pressure. Like when you enter a room and you know that people know you, so you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> you have to freeze yeah, and yeah. they say MV uh, <laughs> MV what yeah, do you want yourself. the TV to see yeah. <laughs> I love that yeah. MV what you want the TV yeah. to see <laughs> yeah MV what you want the TV to see and I'm, I'm, I'm still learning it I'm still learning it mm. yeah. mm. now I've seen you and um, your talk you guys have some serious relationship what is it what is the vibe between you guys your talk and I have very very like good friends yeah i can see yeah, we're very very good friends mm, i can see i really appreciate it. so were you also affected spiritually spiritually uh -huh. um oh <laughs> <laughs> The question just took me. We had to go for water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love you also go for water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nuna. Were you also affected spiritually? Were you also being chased spiritually or something? Well, I can't say um, well, I've been chased spiritually, but I just felt like when I got more in, in touch with um, God, mm -hmm. things got better for me. Hey. When you got in touch with God, I'm interested yeah. in that part. When I go, like when I got closer to God. How, how did you get closer to God? How did I get closer to God? Uh, how? Oh, I prayed more, I read my Bible, mm. go to church. Mm. Mm. I, mm. I just felt like I, I needed God sometime in my life. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it was not because of your talk spiritual experience. Oh, I'm talking personally. You are I, talking. I can't talk about your talk. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the one you're <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. No, but did, did it put some fear, some fear in you? Like, yeah, this is my closest friend talking about being spiritually challenged or attacked. Um, and I'm, I'm rolling with this. I'm rolling with this person all the time. Did he put some fear in you? Off your talk. Let me see. <laughs> I started. It was like, hey, bro, you're a very strong person, and y'all was very like, cause I'm you're a very close friend. And I didn't even notice you're going through something like this. So you mm -hmm. should show you how much of a tough person your talk is. Because mm -hmm. you can barely notice, but. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm. when it's inside you cry, but when it's outside it's a very mm. make sure you're happy. Mm. Like, you can't be with Yahweh and not mm. be mm. in a good mood, mm. you know. So mm. if someone goes to the stand to put you in a good mood when he's not even himself, yeah. like, it shows you how good person he is. Mm. So. There, there have been conversations about you guys being the new school and the takeover from the older folks or the older generation of musicians. When you guys hear some some stuff like that, or just our conversation, oh, now the new boys have taken over, the new boys have taken over, w what goes through your mind? Well, I feel like that's their way of recognizing us. At least we're getting recognized, and I'm happy for that because mm -hmm. there were days that nobody knew us, <laughs> nobody knew us, nobody viewed our videos on YouTube. So we just know that oh, it's a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are coming. I don't think we've taken away. We are coming. Mm. It's more small, everything. Mm. So, and, and how is your relationship with the guys at the top? Like any of the big boys at the top? How is your relationship with them, you personally? Oh, um, well, 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 good. Well, good. Have you gone even, to. Even my debut album, I, I, I got the chance to 
has big people, very, mm. very big people, mm. from here to the UK, mm. even your talk, the mm. people, all of them. Ha, have you gone to any of them for direction, for advice before? You know the thing about um, Ghanaian artists, uh, mm -hmm. anytime they meet you, mm -hmm. then the very big ones, they make sure to like yeah, leave, like leave some words of advice or wisdom. So I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Anytime you meet mm -hmm. one. So wh whose who's words of advice do you always remember or strikes you more anytime it comes to mind? Everybody has their own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I remember, one. I remember Famia always tells me that I should keep my head up. And mm -hmm. that's all, I should just keep my head up. I mm -hmm. shouldn't look down on myself. Mm -hmm. So I should keep my head up. So mm -hmm. my head is mm -hmm. And that's what you always remember. Yeah. Uh, that particular message means a lot to you. Yeah, just so. keep your. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, he has a new one. And um, the new one is really doing wonders. Um, I can share some statistics with you that the new one is already chalking. And um, I hear it is still uh, number one on audio market pop, that is Ghana. And um, Nigeria too, it is doing well. The video is doing well. High school tour, especially the national trip, SRC is doing well. Shazam, number one. TikTok, about 120K plus videos. Boomplay, 1.9 million plays. Audio Mark, 1.5 million plays. And I hear there is likely to be a possible remix. Um, with a Nigerian artist, with a Ghanaian artist. Why is that when every time you see a Nigerian artist? <laughs> you say the Nigerian artist. Oh, but you, got, you know, you know, you know Ghanaian, you know Ghanaian is your next point of call is Nigeria when it comes to music. Uh, if not Nigeria, where again? Oh, but you also got Stonesy. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. that's true though. <laughs> yeah, so. And Shatawale got BLC. Yeah. Stoneboy got Kerry Hilson. Yeah. So, more coming now, get who? Very big artist. <laughs> <laughs> bigger than Jay Z, yeah. <laughs> Isn't bigger than Jay Z? Well, well, you guys should just stay peeped. That's all I can say. And I see. I like the suspense around it. Mm. Benzo mm. remix. Mm. Please mm. watch out for the Benzo remix. Mm. 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 So, yeah. so we we are also going to watch um the Benzo. That is the original yeah. uh song or video here before we come back to that conversation. And I'm really enjoying talking to Malcolm Nass. It's my first time interacting with him and I love his communication skills already. If you are an artist and then I can get you a me, you should be able to communicate well. And so far, uh, perfect for me, if you say. I don't know about what you also think though. But let's watch uh, Benzo. And uh, when I come back, you actually perform the song in the studio as well. Watch it, I'll be back. Junior high school, senior high school, tertiary levels. I said, what for school doing now? What is the secret? What is working for you there? Well, I'll say um, they are very open to my music. Okay. Um, the people there. And I also taught, I did a, a little high school tour um, some months ago. I did a little high school tour some months ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. taught a couple of schools, like 10 schools. We got a chance to do Accra, mm -hmm. um, Accra girls and um, Girls. We did a couple of schools and we ended at Ghana National College. Mm, mm. So what is so special about your songs that they are just going crazy for them? I, I saw one video and I'll be showing it to my people. And, and the whole school, and you tell me which school was that though. What is it about your songs? Is it carefully written for them or is it just for the general public? But Omona, Omatia Philippa. Well, I can't. I can't say what is so special about it now. I have to leave it to them. <laughs> I have to leave it to them. But I feel like I'm doing me, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm singing life, with life stuff that I've actually felt or something they can relate to that they like. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. It's great. It's great. I see. Is it because you were in school not long ago, or what? Maybe they see you as one of them. They don't see you as Shatawale or Sako there or Stoneboy. They see you like one of us. You're in the old school. Is that why they are following you like that? Yeah, that could be the answer too. Maybe because they see me as one of them and they also love the music too. So, uh -huh. so it works hand in hand. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Tell us your introduction into the music space. Um, how did you come? Who was your first contact? Was it smooth? Was it hard? You want me to tell my, yeah. my, my story? Yeah, your story. Your I want to know your story. <laughs> so it started it started back in Ghana National College. That's when I started like um how do I say taking the whole music thing serious. It went from um, 
that being my escape room from seniors, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you come and sing here, or you kneel down, uh, or stuff like that. And so what, when you sing, they don't let you kneel down? Oh, there are sometimes that they actually beat you because they think that maybe um, you stole it or something. Because I used to get that a lot. Like if I sing to them, like, ah, this boy, you want to be smart. This is some ah, song that You sing your own song to yeah. them, but they doubt it is your song. You feel and they'll beat you for it. <laughs> it's cool. Eh? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I felt like, oh, so if they think that it's not my song, mm-hmm. then it's actually good enough for it to be an actual song. So I got a chance to hit the studio mm-hmm. and work with my fresh producer, Swati Beats. We yeah. shout out to him. We, we did a song that, um, we made a song titled Staircase, which was making waves in the, like SHS turf mm-hmm. when I was in SHS. So mm-hmm. I got a chance to play like shows like mm-hmm. SRC programs mm-hmm. in SHS so I made my like my name and oh wait you know this SRC so I'm there mm-hmm. and maybe when they go home those people in SHS so they have little brothers and mm-hmm. little sisters so mm-hmm. when they go you know you look up to your big brother and everything so okay. if you listen to your big brother listen to the song mm-hmm. like, hey who is this Malcolm in that guy mm-hmm. well, coming back to the story mm-hmm. is um when I um got the chance to meet my manager mm-hmm. um yeah go signed to Apple Entertainment and that's when I brought my debut album, Asa La Vista. Mm-hmm. I had 17 songs for the chance to feature some... Um, oh, so, you, so even with your introduction, you came with an album? Yeah, I came with an album. Straight mm-hmm. album. I know, I know, I know you get questions. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this one where it comes out with an album? But yeah. I grew up listening to it. That's why I saw the people who I looked up to do. They made albums and stuff. It wasn't the whole EP. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't even understand what EP was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even understand what EP was. So I came up with an album, and mm-hmm. it got people talking. Mm-hmm. You know, ah, who is this kid that just came up with an album? I made a statement there, and mm-hmm. I got a chance to do um, Money Man. Money Man really popped mm-hmm. out of the album, yeah. so I got a chance yeah. to do the remix with Kwame Eugene. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to Kwame Eugene. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And I released my first single for the year, okay. which is Talk Talk, and then Benzo, Benzo has also yeah. followed. I see. So the real music thing started whilst you were still in school. Yeah, I was still in school. Did it affect your studies? Did it affect your studies? As in, maybe you were so bright a uh, student, and because you started enjoying some fame, as a book could not be on person based on Well, I'm not going to lie. Uh-huh. It did affect my studies. Wow. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm, I'm a talking much um, steady or someone who is very good with the book, but I'm very average. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit better than average. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit better than average, but I, know, right? I still manage to juggle it. Mm-hmm. You know? Sometimes mm-hmm. I even have to like scheme. Maybe run from school. Sorry for my head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your headmaster now can't do anything about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I had to run from school and I was missing classes. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm-hmm. it's a sacrifice mm-hmm. I had to make because mm-hmm. I love music. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I see. I, I want to believe now some parents are watching with their families. Um, when you started running away from school, you saw that this is what you wanted to do. How was your fi- your parents' first reaction? How did they react when they saw uh, now Malcolm has started showing signs of? him wanting to be a musician. How did they welcome it? Well, I didn't go to my parents to tell them that, oh, ma, da, I want to be a musician or something. But I'm sure for some reason, they would have noticed that, oh, this boy has an ear for music or he loves music. But the first time my mom ever saw it was like in the, in the paper. In, in the, the newspaper? In the newspaper. The so first time she saw yeah, you were doing music? It was in the newspaper and I was, I was in school. Mm-hmm. I was in my cubicle mm-hmm. somewhere, minding my own business. And mm-hmm. I got a call that Malcolm, your mom is calling me. And I was like, hey, you know, what are you doing in this? <laughs> I'm like, oh, Ma, can you explain when I come to school? <laughs> she, she came to, to like the school and we had a very, very long conversation. I had to tell her, oh, this, this, and this, and this is what is happening. So I beg you, please. So it's obvious she wasn't happy when she saw it first. No, she I thought maybe she wanted me to be a lawyer or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get your your your, your colleagues, um, uh-huh. or my mom's friends or yeah. whoever telling them, ah yo, I saw your, your, your son here, I saw your son here, so 
Well, second, I'm sure they thought it was a good thing, but it still came as a shock to them. So, mm -hmm. but they saw the seriousness in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So now, have you been able to convince them 100%? Oh, yeah, I do, I do, I do. I see, I see myself on their status. What's that status? <laughs> <laughs> so now your mom is promoting you as well. Yeah, 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 yeah I suppose. Yeah, ah, so you go. <laughs> yeah, so you see the story of Malcolm Nuna? That is so beautiful. So it means that you did not struggle the underground struggle, underground. So beat me, share, brass, I mean, share underground. I meet some of them. It means that you did not go through that hassle song. Well, I'll always say this, everybody's hustle is different mm -hmm. because as much as um, I, I'll say I didn't have the strict experience but music wasn't something they ever expected me to do so I had to hide, I was hiding, hiding, hiding until I, um, I was almost done with SHS before they found out so mm -hmm. I feel like that was my hustle because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if I went to them and I told them from the start that oh man I want to do music, they said no <laughs> mm -hmm. And it won't happen for me, so mm -hmm. I had to mm -hmm. do the side hustle, mm -hmm. sneaking out at home mm -hmm. from school. Bro, it can be so dangerous coming from Cape Coast to um uh, to, yeah, record to record at night, and, and you go back night and stuff. And go back. Were you one day caught that you ran away from school? No, I wouldn't be caught. Uh, this is the first time. I'm sure my mother doesn't even ever know I'm out of school. This is the first time. Sure. <laughs> then, then it means that Malcolm Nina is a smart guy. He was able to do it. Uh, he was never caught. Uh, I'll come and learn the school. Well, please, you. kids watching me, don't <laughs> run away from school. <laughs> do not run away from yeah, school. Yeah, please. that's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, you, you, don't, you don't have to do that. Um, you don't have to do that. Pay attention to your books. If it is your calling, like we see it is his calling now, you are sure going to be there. So let's take you to one of the schools. Let's take you to one of the schools, and I'm sure he'll give us the details which of the schools he went to. And Charlie, the welcome was crazy. I saw the video and I, I was forced to even post it myself because I said, This love, where can you get this love as an artist? And 